Hey everyone, my name is Mark McKinnon. I am a technical support engineer here at Opticon USA, and today I'm going to show you how to use our companion application. Now, the companion application is mainly used for the OPN 2001, yet you can use it with any other companion scanner. You just need special firmware to do so. So, first I'm going to show you how to download the companion application itself and kind of the different settings that go with it. And then I'm going to show you some other stuff relating to firmware and kind of what the companion application does. So first, you are going to navigate to your web browser, go to our knowledge base page, and in order to get there, you can either look at the other video of how to get there and different subtleties to the knowledge base page and what it's all about, or you can just go to opticonusa.com, go to the knowledge base tab across the top of these beautiful orange tabs, and then navigate to any of the companion scanner pages. So in this case, let's just go to the OP2001, because that's what we're using. So it's going to be all the way at the bottom by this software. So if you just, in all of these tabs, you just click on software. And down in software, it's going to be this OPN PC companion application. So to download that, you're just going to click download, but before you do that, make sure that you download the all-in-one PC drivers first. If you have a PC, if you have a Mac, you don't need to worry about it, because that enables the computer to actually communicate with the scanner itself. So you're going to download the OPN PC companion application, and there it is down there. I'm just going to show it in folder so that you can see it. And then you're going to double click on that, double click on the setup.exe. You're going to click yes, and then keep clicking next, install, do you want to create a shortcut on my desktop? I'm not going to do that right now because I already have one on my desktop itself. And then you are going to have this selected to run it just to see, and then click finish. So it's going to say no device detected because I don't have any device hooked up to my computer. So this is the companion application itself, let's just close it. This is the companion application. So uh, this enables you to get the barcodes off of the scanner itself, because with the OP2001, you scan a bunch of barcodes, and they're on the scanner. Well, how do you get them off the scanner? You use the companion application to get them from the scanner onto the computer. So to do that, let's just connect our scanner. And so you, sh you see this green status bubble, and if that is not green, that means a couple things. It means your scanner may not be in the correct mode, or you may not have the correct serial port connected. To check what serial port your scanner is using, you can go to this Windows icon down here and just type in Device Manager. And in Device Manager, if you scroll almost all the way down to this ports tab. You click on it and it shows all the ports that are that your computer is taking up. So different Bluetooth links, this USB cable which is connected to this Opticon USB code reader which is the OP2001 and it's using COM4. So just make note of that whenever you're looking at the companion application if the serial port doesn't line up with the one on, on the device manager, then you need to make sure that you're connected to the right port. So connected to COM4 in the companion application is connected to COM4, so we're good to go. Now in order to actually get the barcodes, you just click this get barcodes button. It should beep and it gives you all the barcodes that are on the scanner itself. Now with these barcodes, it shows the barcode data itself, the time that the barcode was scanned, and then the date that the barcode was scanned. So you can also edit what shows up in that little barcode data section by, like, let's say I want to show what symbology the barcode was. So what type of barcode was it? Code 39, code 128, etc., etc. So if we click that and then click get part codes again, it should show up with the symbology there as well. 
And in order to save those, you just have to click this save to file icon. And then if you click these three little dots, it should show up as a place to save it to and what to save it as. So currently I have it just saved as barcodes.txt onto my desktop, just so I can access it easier and I know where it is. But you can save it to anywhere on your computer. And doing that, if I find the barcodes.txt file itself, I'm gonna double click that. And I've scanned a whole bunch of barcodes on this scanner, so there's gonna be more showing. But these bottom ones here are the, the barcodes that have showed up right here in this companion application. So there they are. And if you want, you can also set it as a CSV file, which is short for comma separated values. And that is mainly used for spreadsheets. So if you want to use this in Excel, you can do it as a CSV file. And then you can also get the time of the scanner, set the time. If you want to make sure that the time date stamp is correct, you can set the time, which will, once I click that, the time is set. So every barcode that I scan after this will have the correct time date stamp. It just takes the time of your computer and puts it on the scanner. Then you can also get the time of the scanner, and that's the time that is on the scanner just to make sure that it is correct. And then if you want to use this companion application with, let's say, an OP2006, you're going to need special firmware. So there will be a link in the description of how to load firmware, all the details you need for that. But to just give you a quick version, if we go back here to the knowledge base page, and then we go away from the 2001 and go to the 2006, and go all the way down to software, it is going to have this special OPN 2001 simulation application of firmware, which essentially allows a 2006 to act like a 2001 to be able to be used with the community application. So you are going to download that firmware, go through all the steps, again, link in the description for that video, and then you will be able to connect this scanner, the 2006 or 2004, 2002, whatever you have, with the companion application and do everything you need to do on the companion application. And uh, that is just about it with uh, all of the settings of the companion application. You can kind of play around with it. There's a whole bunch more settings that I didn't cover, like everything in device options. There are so many other settings that you can go through. So if you want to change different settings on your scanner, you can go in there and experiment with it and try it out for yourself. But that's just about everything. Thank you so much for watching.